Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the polygons. When we say polygons, it is a closed figure made up of three or more line segments joined at their end points. So polygons are classified according to their number of sides. If a polygon has three sides, that is a triangle. If a polygon has four sides, that is a quadrilateral. And if a polygon has five sides, that is a pentagon. If a polygon has eight sides, that is, a, that is an octagon. And if a polygon has ten sides, that is a decagon. Now we also classified polygons according to convex polygon or concave polygon. Examining the two kinds of polygon, we have the convex and concave. They are polygon because it is made up of three or more line segments joined at their endpoints. These are the endpoints, the line segments. Okay. That is the concave vex polygon how about in this case the following are example of concave polygon so examining the two kinds of polygon the convex and concave notice that from the root word itself cave here looking at the exterior angle of our polygon like this one okay Check the difference between the two. Con convex polygon has, if you're going to connect any of the endpoints, that will not create an angle outside or exterior angle comparing to concave polygon. So, to check, let's say we're going to connect this endpoint to this one. Okay. So, notice that here we have an angle if we're going to connect the two vertices so that is the difference between the convex and concave now you will also encounter the terms consecutive vertices when we say consecutive vertices it is the vertex vertices next to each other Let's say P and Q are consecutive vertices. Q and R are also consecutive vertices. S and R are also consecutive vertices. How about T and Q? They are not consecutive. How about S and P? They are also not a consecutive vertices. Now consecutive sides. Consecutive sides are sides of a polygon that next to each other. Let's say P and Q are consecutive sides. TP and PQ are also consecutive sides. ST and TP are consecutive sides. How about TP and SR? They are not consecutive sides. And consecutive angles. Angles in a polygon that are next to each other. Let's say angle TPQ and PQR. Okay, this angle and also this angle. TPQ, then PQR. They are consecutive. We also have RST and STP. Okay, the two angles. How about P? Uh, PQR and STP they are not consecutive angles now we, you will also encounter the word diagonals so diagonals of a polygon is a segment joining two consecutive vertices of the polygon if you have a triangle we don't have a number of diagonal because we only have three sides how about if you have quadrilateral so 
first diagonal, then second diagonal. Later on, we will be discuss on how to get the number of diagonals in a polygon. And you will also encounter the word center, central angle, exterior angle, and interior angles. When we say center, it is a point on the center of our polygon. So here, our center is S. And when we say central angle, it is an angle located in the center of the polygon. So in this case, the central angle is this one. We have angle ASB. ASB. Next, we have the exterior angle. It is an angle located outside the polygon. So in this case, this is our exterior angle. So that is angle C, D, T. C, D, T. And interior angle, these are the angle located inside the polygon. So we have a lot of angle here. So it can be angle F, this one. Angle E. Angle B. Angle C. We also have angle C, B, S, angle C, B, S, or angle S, B, C, angle S, B, C. We also have angle F, A, S, angle F, A, S, angle S, A, B, angle S, A, B, and so on. So those are the difference between the center, central angle, exterior angle, interior angles. Now let us try to solve some problems regarding the following terms and of course the polygon. Now let's answer the following problems or exercises. Identify each part of the regular polygon A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we have our polygon A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H with the center I and exterior angle. So let us answer numbers 1 to 10. Number 1, what part of our polygon is I? I. What is your answer? Center. Okay. Next, number two, angle BIC. BIC is the central angle. Next, number three, D, that is the vertex. How about number four? Angle B A H. This angle B A H. Vertex angle. How about H G or segment H G? H G. H G is our side. Side of a polygon. How about angle EFJ? That is the exterior angle. And GD, where is GD? Okay, GD, we're going to draw G to D. That is a diagonal. diagonal. Number eight. Is a polygon convex or concave? Convex. How many si uh, how many sides does the polygon have? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight sides. That is an octagon. How many diagonals can be drawn from vertex H only? Where is H? 
So we're going to draw the diagonal from verte vertex edge. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have five diagonals from vertex edge. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.